but the, you're the first man in the Open era to win more than six, six titles or more in two separate tournaments, in your case with Monte Carlo and Barcelona. You must have been uh, absolutely delighted with the way you start off this clay court season. <laughs> well, sure, it's better than possible to start a clay season like this, no? so very happy about everything. I think I played uh, better in Barcelona than Monte Carlo, so that's positive. Be playing better every every day. Very happy about everything, Sergio. There's been a change in the calendar this year and the positioning in Madrid where it is now. Mm. It really gave you an opportunity to play Barcelona and then have the rest coming to Madrid. Mm. It must have really helped your whole approach to the clay court season. Well, it's a different calendar. Uh, you know, never it's difficult to have the same calendar every year. But uh, I played Barcelona this year as a impor very important tournament for me. And Barcelona, I think, is a is a really fantastic tournament and very historic tournament, and was tough for me. I had the decision last year to to not play. And then here, Madrid, always uh, is a honor. Come back to this tournament is uh, fantastic memories from from this uh, beautiful city, and uh, the crowd always was supporting me. Unbelievable here. Since Barcelona, have you had some time to, to rest and how do you feel physically? Mm, yeah, I'm fine. I don't have any problem. I'm lucky for the moment. I I had a few rest after Barcelona and I'm practicing every day right now to try to be very competitive for the first day. Um, the conditions here in Madrid are a little bit different to other clay court mm. events because of the altitude. Um, does that kind of change your approach mm. or your tactics even? Well, it's very difficult to change a lot of things, no? but yeah, it's, it's, it's a big change. The altitude makes a big difference on the game, but um, I, I did well last year. I played final and I won last year, so I think it's not a big problem for me, but sure, you have to adjust a little bit the game. Now of course, yeah, you're the favourite to win here, um, but uh, and obviously number one seed. But does that bring a certain amount of pressure to you, particularly playing on home soil? No, well, it's nothing new for me. No, I, it's long, lot of years on the tour. So seriously, uh, for me, it's just a special feeling and motivation. Play at home, that's fantastic for me. But not for sure. No, no, it's not more pressure. No, because the goals in every tournament are the same. So doesn't make big difference if you play at home or uh, outside of home. What's it like to receive such a lot of attention by the, the fans here in Spain, and particularly here in Madrid? Well, in Spain always the fans was really fantastic with me, you know, was supporting me a lot and uh, you know, for me it's a very, very nice feeling when I go on court and I see the, the love of the fans and when I am on the, on the street walking around and they support me. So they help me a lot. This moment when I am in the perfect conditions and I'm playing well or last year, but they helped me a lot too when I had the tough moments in the past. So I think uh, the fans always are a very, very important part of, of my career, and because of them, I think we have a, a very successful tour. Now, some people saying that Novak Djokovic is really the player to kind of beat this week. Um, mm -hmm. What's your view on how he started his season? Mm -hmm. He's had a fantastic start. To yeah, it's season. unbelievable how he started. No, um, I just can't congratulate him because what he's doing is unbelievable. And we will see what's what's going on. No, but uh, seriously, what he's doing is fantastic.